Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 1227, Thursday, February the 29th, and it is time for our weekly Should You Summon video. I uh, put out one of these every single week prior to a summoning event, kind of give my thoughts and, and advice about what's going on this week, what might be coming up in the future that we know of. Um, just giving advice. So for this week, we have... Crazy Invocation of Spirits and Divine Summoning, okay? So that's your two times rates for both your blues and your golds. Really, really simple. Good value overall in general. Uh, a higher chance of getting a Legendary is always good, especially for your Divines. Going from a 6% chance of a Legendary to a 12% chance is a big deal. And then on Sunday, we have a one-off 10x where the rates stay the same that they normally are. Half percent for invocation for blues, 6% for divines like normal. But if you happen to pull a legendary on those rates, you have a higher likelihood of pulling this week, Constance and Alora. So the thing that makes it a little tough this week is Constance and Alora are both really good champs. And we know that really good champs are coming in the next few weeks. There's going to be future banners that we're aware of. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. And uh, it's very situationally dependent this time. Usually it's a lot more straightforward. Uh, don't do it. Do it. These are really great. They're not really great. It's a little tricky this week. So for Constance, her big thing is that for her ult, she gives inspiration. So this gives uh, additional attack to everyone around her. She's got her 12 tiles all around her. And this gives uh, a portion of her attack to them when she ults, right? So it can go up to 45% for 20 seconds. Uh, when fully skilled, it goes down to a 900 cost. And uh, this is why Dolores is so valuable, right? This is why Dolores is in every single team in the game on every account that has her because she gives additional attack to everyone around her and additional attack in this game. Attack is the king stat. So... Um, what Constance brings is she has a smaller inspiration multiplier. When fully booked, it goes up to 45%, where Dolores, I believe, is 60. But she has a higher base attack. She's got a higher five or 600-ish base attack. And because she's a defender, she gets placed on a ground tile instead of Dolores is a support, so she gets placed on a, uh, a platform tile. So you've got options there where Dolores can get to um, can apply her inspiration to units that um, Constance might not be able to and vice versa or you could have both of them on a team and you can cycle ults so that you have 100% uptime of inspiration. There's, there's a, a lot of ways to use them and get value there. So Constance is absolutely valuable and she's a member of um, the, the Arbiters, if you are super lucky and happen to pull Praetis, uh, she can help out there too. So, so Constance is definitely good. She has her use. I don't think she's meta anywhere other than Conqueror Immortal Codex right now, but, uh, she absolutely has value and I believe she will have more value the longer this game is, uh, the longer this game goes on. Alora, the reason that she's special is because she is completely invisible, cannot be targeted by attacks 100% of the time, except when she's ulting. So for progression, she's great. Um, but beyond progression, once you're getting into the end game gear raid three stages, 19, 20, 21, she is absolutely best in slot for the right hand side of the screen um, to, to take care of that entire right side. She's really, really, really good because of that invisibility. Um, so both of them very, very useful. Now, whether or not you should pull is going to be highly dependent on on your account and what you need, and uh, you know whether you spend or not, as it always is, right? That's a that's a factor here, because if you're a big spender and you don't have them, then yeah, absolutely get them. They're useful. They're high value. Complete that Pokédex. Um, but it gets a little tricky because we know that there is a banner coming in March that is going to have Hatset and Artemis on it. Artemis hasn't been released on the global server yet, um, but he is really, really good. He puts out big heals and he puts out big damage, and Hatset is 
you know, arguably one of the best champs in the game. She puts out a ton of burst damage, um, defense reduction. She's great for PvP. She's great pretty much almost everywhere, right? So, uh, and and since Hatsa is in her own, essentially, rarity bucket, her and Boreas, they're in this super ultra rare, only Leia and Morgan have rarer rates than her, um... When there's a 10x for her, it's actually more like a 30, 35x chance because it raises it up to where if you pull a legendary on her banner, you've got almost a 20% chance of getting her. So uh, Hatsit and Artemis are coming in the next few weeks, and they are both very, very good. The word on the street is that Artemis is going to be highly valuable for Gear Raid 4, which is coming down the pipeline in the not-too-distant future. So, um, here's, here's my advice. Here's my advice. If you don't have them and you're spending money either way, then yeah, absolutely get them. They're valuable and getting them earlier on a 10 X rather than randomly later, hoping to get them. Um, it's, it's more, it's more likely there. It's a, it's a good deal for you. Stay away from the two X, uh, events this week because we have, uh, really good banner we have Hatsit and Artemis coming. They're worth holding on to your, your summons for. We don't know if Hatsit and Artemis are going to be um, blue crystals only or if golds will be involved in that. We don't know yet, but in case they're both there, like Silas and Vierna just were, hold on to them just in case because they're definitely, definitely high value there. But if you don't have either one of them, maybe you already have Hatsit, Maybe you've got a, a pretty healthy roster so far and you don't have either of these, then yeah, pull this week. But I think for probably, you know, uh, probably solidly 80% of people, depending on, you know, how you play the game and where your account progression is, you're probably going to want to avoid this one and hold off for Hatset and Artemis. Um, but if you do pull, absolutely let me know how it goes. I, lo I love to hear about people's pulling luck, okay? Uh, and if you're curious about your specific account, then leave me a comment, join the Discord, shoot the Discord, excuse me. The link will be in the description. Um, hit me up. I'll give you advice for your specific account. It's it's just really hard to give a, an account by account breakdown in a, in a quick video like this. Overall, most people are gonna wanna avoid this week and hold off for the better banner coming in the near future. All right. So that's been the video. Thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.